Hello students, how are you all? Right, so today we'll be seeing, seeing a different trick on logarithm. Basically, I have done almost four to five videos on logarithm and we have kept it in the playlist. So the description or the link for all these logarithm tricks we are already kept in the description below. Go through the link, you will get an understanding. First go through that, watch that logarithm videos and then come back to this. This is basically an extension of the earlier one. Right. So most of the students have this problem. Like, you know, logarithm is quite common question which is given in most of the examinations. So let us see today how to find or what do complete the logarithm numericals without using the log, log table. Right. So here, basically, whenever I take or suppose a question is given to you like this. Let me take first. Let me take one example. Suppose a question is given to you that is you you are supposed to find log two two three zero zero right so this is assumed this is already understood in the base 10 right let's see so before i go or without using the log table i'll give you basic things which you have to remember these particular five values what are they let's see first you should always have in mind log 2 value just remember that after that you you need to remember log 3 value these are quite common simple things which i gave you so log 2 value is done log 3 value is done then remember log 5 value and or we again remember log 7 value. So log 2 is 0 0.3010, 3 is 0 0.4771, log 5 is 0 0.6990 and log 7 is 0 0.845. Done. Apart from that, you should also know these common things. That is log 10 is equal to 1. That every, it's a quite common thing, right? Log 100 is 2 log 1000 is 3 and log 0.1 is minus 1. So if you know this, you can apply it to any sort of numerical with whatever is given to you, right? Fine. So now our task is to find the log value for log 2300. Let us come back and see. So whenever I have to solve, remember there's one small calculus trick which we are going to apply. So whenever log 2, 2000 remains 2300 is given to you, first important thing, try to split that in this way. That is log 23 into 100, right? So we very well know the multiplication factor becomes addition factor in log when we take log into consideration. So log 23 into 100 can be written as log 23 plus log 100. This is step one. Now we will apply one calculus trick to this. So I have told in the previous video also, let's see, this is a calculus trick. What is that? Remember this whole thing from here till this whole thing. Remember so that it will be useful for you in all the numericals. Means uh, the solving, well solving the log. That is, log, calculus trick is log <coughs> x plus delta x. That is the incremental value, whatever is incremental. Suppose if the value is reduced, then this will become minus delta x. So log x plus delta x is equal to log x plus 0.4 open the bracket delta x by x so remember this clearly once you remember you can apply whichever sum is given to you so once again memorize this part and it will be useful for you now let me come back now first i told you log 2300 two, i have written as log 23 into 100 so first part i am taking here log 23 log 23 can be written as what you can write it as log 20 plus 3 Yes or no? Yes. So now same concept, take it and apply in this calculus trick. The same thing, use it here in the calculus trick. How can we write? Now let us start with the first one. So according to this, this part, see here. Now this log is this log. Okay, done. Now 23 x is your 20 and the incremental value. How much has increased? Plus 3 has increased. So delta x is plus 3. Done. Now you're going to apply this whole in above formula. How are you going to apply? First take log x is log 20, done, plus, plus is here, 0.4 is again there, 0.4 into, first thing, delta x is what here, delta x is nothing but plus 3. So this plus 3, I am going to take it here, apply here, see here, this is the incremental value, plus 3, divided by 20, this is clear, isn't it? Once again, suppose if it is log 25, you are going to write as log 20 plus 5, which is equal to log 20 plus 0.4 into 5 divided by 20. It's easy. Done. Now, come back. Now, what is log 20? We've seen in the earlier page. Log 20, log 20. Yes, it's here. Let's come back and see. So, here, when I take log 20 is nothing but simple 2. 
means log not log 20 is not 2 basically i am writing log 20 as 2 into 10 same thing right so log 20 is 2 into 10 i can just further write it as 2 into 10 plus when i solve this whole thing i'll be getting an answer of plus 0 0.06 so i have further simplified it 23 i made it into 20 plus 3 so again 20 plus 3 i have taken this log 20 value as log 2 into 10 done i have simplified this i got 0 0.06 that's done now so I, I we very well know the multiplication factor becomes the addition factor now i have taken this whole concept and written in the form of addition so log 2 into 10 how can i write i can write it as log 2 done i can write it as log 10 done the point 6, 0 0.06 value which i have got it is here now can, let us come back log 2 in the earlier page we have already seen log 2 value i asked you to remember five or seven values among that log 2 is 0 0.3010 done log 10 value is 1 then 0 0.06 is as such suppose when you, again when you add all these you get an answer of 1.36 right so this particular value you have got it for what log 20 let me come back now our task is to find log value for log 2300 yes or no now to log 2300 i can write it as log 23 plus log 100 what did I get a value? We have got log 23 value as 1.36. Then log 100 value, as I asked you to remember, 100 value is plus 2. So 1.36 plus 2 is 3.36. That means using this calculus formula, whichever is given to us, I have applied this calculus formula to the given number and automatically without using log table, I have got the answer. So log 2300, the answer is 3.36. So thank you for watching students. Hope this is clear to you all. Now go to the description below. Link is given to you all. Watch all the logarithm videos and please proceed again with this video. Thank you for watching students.